Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome back to another sit down video on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching my previous like toddler clothing haul. I got a lot of positive feedback on that video that you guys are liking the sit down videos. So I will definitely do my best to incorporate them more into this channel. I have some fun ideas for sit down videos. So don't worry, the vlogs are not going anywhere though. Today's video is a what's in my diaper bag video. <laughs> So it looks like a hot mess right now, as you guys can see. Recently, my husband and I did some traveling. So I used like everything in the bag. So I'm essentially like restocking it right now. So I thought that it's, this would be a good time to film this video. So you guys can see what I keep in my toddler diaper bag. We're running a really quick errand. I typically don't bring my diaper bag or if I do, it'll just be in the car with me. Like I won't bring it into the actual location that we're going into unless we're going into a mall where we might be there for a while or say like Walmart or Costco, which I sometimes don't even bring it into Costco or if we're like doing a day trip or a road trip or something like that, that's when I will bring my diaper bag. The way I'm gonna set it up for you in this video is how I would use my diaper bag for like a big event like that, like a road trip or something like that where I needed to have like all of my essentials in my diaper bag. So the diaper bag that I use is an itsy ritzy diaper bag, which I love. I have been using that since Mother's Day last year. I got it as a Mother's Day gift last year. I absolutely love this diaper bag. I'm gonna go into like a tour of the diaper bag for you guys so you can see kind of how it's set up with nothing in it. Um, Itsy Ritzy has a lot of really fun, cute, like mom type of stuff. They have baby stuff too, but I love the products that Itsy Ritzy comes out with. They're very like mom friendly and it, you can tell that they put a lot of thought into the products that they produce. So there's a couple other things that I have to show, share with you guys. So I have a wet bag which is really exciting because this print actually matches my diaper bag. Um, and I do have another wet bag that I keep in Rose's swim bag. And this one, I'm gonna open this one and put this one in her diaper bag and I'll show you guys what my purpose is for that. And then I also have the Mom Boss Multi Cover. So what this is, is this is a four in one cover and you can use it as a car seat cover, a cart cover, a nursing cover, or as an infinity scarf. So I am no longer nursing. My daughter is a toddler now, so I don't have the infant seat for her anymore. So I don't have a purpose for this with the car seat cover or as a nursing cover, but as an infinity scarf, I really like that idea of using it for that. And especially as a cart cover, I was actually kicking myself because a few weeks ago, it was super snowy where I live and I, I wished I would have had this in my diaper bag, but I didn't have it in there yet because I wanted to film this video for you guys. I thought this would be really good to carry in my diaper bag, especially for the winter months, because in the winter months, the carts can get really cold and it would be uncomfortable for her to sit in. So even just like a little barrier like this in the cart would like help keep her a bit warm. Plus like, if, or the snow started to melt when I brought her inside, I was just like kicking myself for not having this at that time. Let's jump in. I'm going to flip the camera around and give you a tour of the diaper bag. And then we're going to like repack it with everything else that I keep in the diaper bag. So it's kind of like a reverse what's in my diaper bag sort of video. Instead of showing you everything that I keep in it, we're gonna show you how I pack it. <laughs> so the diaper bag that I have from Itsy Ritzy is called the Triple Threat Convertible Diaper Bag. So it can be worn a few different ways. Uh, you can wear it with a handle like this. It comes with a strap like this. And it also comes with backpack straps which I don't use anymore. The backpack straps are made of a material like this and I just kind of felt like I didn't find them overly comfortable so I just didn't like wearing them. But in all honesty, the main reason that I wanted the Itsy Ritzy diaper bag was not to wear it as a backpack. I wanted it so that I could use it on my arm like this and I wanted it for the large strap. These covers that they have for the large strap is super, super comfortable. So I think that if they had had this on the actual straps here, I would have liked it a little bit more for the backpack straps, if that makes sense. Um, Cause this is really comfortable to wear on its own. So I typically will like just grab it in my hands or wear it with this strap. Um, it also, I love that they also have these little tassels on them. I think it's just a little something extra and it's super, super cute. You can also get little attachments that clip to this and then and hold the diaper bag up on your stroller. So there's a lot of little options that you have to customize it. Another thing that I really like is these straps are super sturdy. Like I've been using this for just about a year now. I've had no cracking in the material. I've had no wear on the material. It could probably use with like a wash because I mean, it's a diaper bag. It does get kind of dirty, but even this strap here, like I've had no wear and tear on it. It's been really good to me for this last year. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different colors too. I was actually torn between this print and they have one that has like a cognac 
black gray type of print to it as well and I loved that one I thought it was so striking and so classy ultimately you guys know I'm a floral girl so I did end up picking up this one but I really had a hard time choosing they also have another diaper bag called the tribe tote diaper bag and instead of the two pouches in the front it has like one giant pouch and it is bigger than this one which I think that if I had multiple kids I would look at getting that diaper bag this one is definitely like don't get me wrong this one holds a ton and you guys will see that soon yeah I think that the other one just might function a little bit better so honestly next baby I will probably get it or maybe from a Mother's Day I'll ask for it because I still think about that diaper bag and especially in like the cognac print I think that'd be so cute so just a little tour of the diaper bag here. On the front, we have two little compartments. They are magnetic here. They are really good size. I love those. On the sides, there's two insulated pockets there for like your bottles or whatever. There's nothing on the back. Like there's no sleeve or anything like that. I do keep my diaper genie bags just on the back here. Okay, so when you open the diaper bag, the front compartment here is a zippered compartment. So this is what I use for like my mom's stuff. Any stuff that I don't want Rose getting into, this is where I will put it. She typically doesn't get into my diaper bag either. And the back here is where the change pad cover sits. This change pad cover is super nice because it's labeled. <laughs> it's labeled with head at the top and toe at the bottom. I love that. I think that that is just such a nice little touch and that it's labeled like that. It's magnetic, it fits perfectly back in here. There are five compartments on the sides, so you have two large on this side, then on this side you have three smaller ones, and then on the ends you have two mesh ones too, and it's wide open in the middle. So you could easily put like a purse organizer in the middle, or you could just throw your stuff in, which is what I'm going to show you guys, and which is what I'm going to do next. So in the front, I call these my like mom pockets. <laughs> this is where I put the products that I need to access quite frequently, or things that are just easy for me to get to. I do have another mom pocket in here as well though, but the things I use on the regular is this little pouch. This little pouch here, I just got from Target in the cosmetic section. In here I just keep like credit cards, discount cards, anything that I might need when I'm out and about traveling. The reason I keep my cards in this now is because I find it a lot easier to just kind of take this out if I need to run into a store really quick instead of taking my diaper bag, or I can easily bring this with me if I'm out and about without rows and I can just slip it into like the little tiny purse that I have. I can move this into a bigger purse if I want to wear a bigger purse for the day. This is essentially my wallet. This is like all I need to carry around typically. So I just stick that in the front pocket. I also usually have my phone. With, this is a 6S Plus, so it's a larger phone and it totally fits in there perfectly. I also keep my eyeglass case in here as well. Cases for my glasses, but I keep my sunglasses in it. And I will usually keep that in the other compartment. Or if I'm out vlogging for the day, I will take my vlog camera, but that's what I'm filming on right now. So it does fit really nicely in here and then it's easy access for me. The last few things that I carry around is some lip balm. So this is my favorite one of the moment. It is my Fresh Sugar Lip Caramel Hydrating Balm. I'm obsessed with this stuff, you guys. It is amazing. I also usually carry my Lip Sense products around. These are something that I've become super obsessed with. So I typically will carry the gloss 100% for sure. Sometimes I'll carry the color, not always. So that is usually all that I keep in the front compartments. Now the side compartments are for Rose's snacks usually. The first thing that I would throw in the side compartment is a spoon and fork. Uh, we are teaching her how to use utensils and so these are the ones that she has been doing pretty good with. Uh, they're just Playtex spoon and fork. I'd like to find something that came in like a travel case so if you guys have any suggestions for them just comment below and let me know. But I will throw those in the side. I also would take a sippy cup full of water for her. Um, it depends where we're going whether or not I would bring a bottle. She doesn't take a lot of bottles. She takes a bottle before nap and before bedtime. So depending on the situation, I'd bring bo a bottle. If not, I'd just bring this full of water. These are the ones that she does the best with is the little ones with the straws though. Depending on where we're going or what we're doing, I would bring one of these pouches. These are just from Costco. These aren't anything super fancy, but um, these are really good in the car seat. These are really fast and easy to give her if she gets hungry. And then the last thing, this has become like one of my favorite baby products lately. And it is from Gerber. What I like about this specific snack holder is that the top 
folds down to the bottom and then this is like easy for her to carry, easy for her to get her hands in. I also like that this is more see-through so that she can see the snacks. I've had other ones that aren't see-through and she, not that she struggles with it, but at first when I was teaching her to use this, she did struggle with the fact that she could like get her hands in there and get stuff out. So I do bring something like this along with me as well. I know that Itsy Ritzy also sells like little snack pouches, which would be like ideal because they're not as bulky as this one. The good thing about this one though is that my daughter can eat this like on her own. I can just hand it to her and she's good to go. Great for in the car seat if she needs a little snack or if you're in like the stroller and you're out and about. I do like to put this on like the top of my bag so I'm not gonna quite put this in the diaper bag yet. It doesn't overly fit great in the side compartments here. You can but then you stretch them out a lot so I don't like to put them in the sides. Okay so the next thing that I'm gonna put in is the wet bag. I'm really excited to add this addition to my diaper bag because I don't currently have a bag like this in there. So this is approximately how big they are. They are a little bit larger. So I would probably only bring this around if we had like a long day or a trip or something like that. They're a great size for the pool though and I will show you the other print that I have. So this one matches my diaper bag, but this was another print that I have and this goes in her pool bag. So they have some really fun options for these wet bags. And then the inside, it's like a nylon plasticky material, so the water's not gonna stick to it. It's not going to absorb into the cotton cover on the outside. These are such a fantastic idea. I was so excited when I saw that Itsy Ritzy had these. So if I was going on a long trip, I would take a sleeper, typically. It depends how long we are going for, but I would probably take a sleeper because they fold up the best. And I would just pop this in here. I would also probably throw in just a couple of washcloths. I use these for so many different things. If she has a diaper rash or anything like that, I will use these with water on her bum instead of wipes. I will use these to clean off her face or her hands or anything. I use these all the time and I've used them since she was a newborn. So then I would just pack this in her diaper bag. It would be on the very bottom of it so it doesn't take up too much room. Um, folds down nice and handy. It's almost like a little clutch. This is adjustable, so if you wanted to carry it on your wrist for at the pool or anything like that. Nice thing is, is if you guys have toddlers, you know that they make a giant mess with their hands, or face, their clothes. So if they had made a mess on their clothes, you could toss it in here, it's not gonna mess up the rest of your diaper bag. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna put in my diaper bag is the Mom Boss multi-use cover. Like I said, I think this would be really great for winter for me. It wouldn't be like overly warm for winter. Because it folds down so nice, it's easy to just kind of toss in your bag. It's a super flexible material. It won't take up like very much room at all. It's a really nice neutral print. And there's so many different uses for this. So I'm just gonna fold this up and it is going to sit in the back where I call my mum pouch. I've used some of these covers before and this one I have to say is super stretchy and super, super soft. I think this will be a great addition to my diaper bag. So my next mum pouch <laughs> is this zipper compartment here. Like I said, if it's products that I don't want Rose to get into or have easy access to, I put it back here. A couple other things that I keep back there besides this, which I'm just going to put in there. I keep a little pouch like this with a pen in it. Because I run my own business, I need to keep track of receipts, so I typically will throw any sort of receipts that are related to my business in here, and I have a pen in here just to jot down whatever the receipt is pertaining to. So that I keep in the back here as well. The next thing I keep back there is some Kleenex, because typically that's for me. I have something else that I use for Rose, so I will keep that in the back. And then the last thing that I keep in the back is this little pouch here. This pouch again is just from Target. And in this pouch, I keep some of my like essential travel stuff. So I'm gonna go through this and show you guys what is in here. I keep some stuff that we might need on the road, stuff for her teething, stuff for like a diaper rash. I keep that sort of stuff in here because these are things I don't use all the time. Um, I don't typically use diaper cream unless she has a rash or to prevent a rash or if we're traveling for long trips or she's sleeping for a long time. For the most part, I don't typically use them though. So the first thing that I keep in here is some baby powder. I don't use baby powder all the time, but sometimes, again, if she's um, gonna be sitting for a long time, I might put her in some baby powder. If she's like sweating or anything like that, I will put some baby powder on her. The next thing that I have, this is a new addition to this bag. This is actually motion sickness liquid, so like, Gravel, but the no-name brand. Uh, we took a trip not too long ago where she threw up all over her car seat. So I think that she got motion sickness. I'm not sure if we fed her too much before we left. I'm not entirely sure what the deal was, but now I just don't chance it if we're going on like long road trips. I always bring gravel. I just keep a syringe in there for the gravel as well. 
The next thing that I keep in this little bag is Tylenol because my poor little girl is teething something fierce. So if she is super, super upset, super in pain, I will give her some Tylenol. She is a toddler, but she's still in the category for weight where she uses infant's Tylenol. So I don't have to carry around children's Tylenol yet, as well as the syringe to uh, give her the Tylenol if I need to. The next thing that I keep in here is some pumpkin butt teething oil. I will usually try to use an oil like this before I give her Tylenol and if she's still pretty upset then I will move into something like Tylenol. The next thing I keep in here is my hands down favorite diaper cream of life. This is the Baby Bum Balm from Rocky Mountain Soap Company. You guys, poor little Rose had such a bad diaper rash on the last trip that we took and I am not entirely sure what caused it. I'm not sure if it was teething, if she had like a very acidic poop, what it was, but her diaper rash was awful. I'd never seen something so bad. I applied this to her diaper rash and it was gone within like a day. It was nuts. It was so, so nuts. This stuff is crazy good. And I'm just gonna open it so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. So it is like a paste like that, but it is so smooth and so soft. I've actually used this on her cheeks when they were really dry and it took the dryness away for that. I feel like there's so many good uses for this and the Rocky Mountain Soap Company has a lot of really fun products. You guys are gonna see another product in here that I've also been really liking from this company. Okay, and then the last couple of things that I keep in this bag is just a thermometer, just in case. You just never know when you're gonna need it, as well as a couple wet ones for cleaning off. Tables if we go out to eat. Um, her, I don't use these so much for her hands. I typically use like diaper wipes for her hands, but I do keep some of these little like just packets in this little bag as well. Okay, so I just stick that in the back. I don't have to reach for that very often, in all honesty. And again, if I was just traveling around town, I probably wouldn't bring that with me. So in the little compartments just underneath that zipper hook, I do stick some of this in there. And this is, again is from Rocky Mountain Soap Company and it is the Baby Bum Spray. So this works really well if, if you don't have access to water when you're changing, which like if you're changing in the car or something like that, um, and baby has like a sticky poops or something that you have a hard time getting off, you can use this spray either in addition to wipes or with like a cloth just to clean baby up. I love this, absolutely love this stuff. I think this is like such a great product. I've never used a bum spray like this before and I can't believe I didn't get one sooner. So this one I always keep in my diaper bag now. It's great for travel. Another thing I keep in the compartments is boogie wipes. These are a staple in my diaper bag. I'm pretty sure I showed these in my last diaper bag video. I absolutely love these boogie wipes. They're great for getting off boogers. Cleaning faces, they smell delicious. She doesn't mind when I wipe her nose with these. I don't keep too many toys in her diaper bag, but this is a staple. This is just a banana teether. She has loved this since she was able to hold on to teethers. This has been like her favorite teether for sure. You can get these, the banana, baby banana teethers. You can get these like all over. The pink one, I specifically got off of Amazon though. I had a hard time finding the pink one anywhere else. Depending on the situation will depend on how many diapers I'm bringing. I typically try and keep at least two to three diapers in the diaper bag though, you just never know. My daughter is still in size three. She is quite a small baby. Uh, so these ones fit really nice. I know as they get bigger, like they won't be as easy to stick in here. You just stick these in the mesh pocket. I feel like that holds the diapers in a lot better than say these pockets right out front here. Now I do bring baby wipes. However, I only have the giant Kirkland wipes right now. Um, I need to I need to figure out a, a solution for this and maybe you guys can help me. But these are a giant pain to carry around because there's so many in here. They take up so much room in my diaper bag. I've tried one of the, like, the plastic wipe holders and I didn't like how little they carried. It also broke right away and I had a hard time like opening and closing it because this, the little snap thing broke, it wouldn't stay closed. So I don't typically bring around this many wipes, but I do bring around wipes. Um, if I was traveling, I might just bring a giant one like this just because you never know how much you're gonna need when you're traveling with a kid. So for toys, I don't bring too many toys for her now. Uh, this little pack though is something that I picked up at Michael's and it is a grab and go play pack. And this is just the Daniel Tiger version, which is like her second favorite TV show. And this has stickers, it has a little coloring book, and it has crayons in it. It is perfect for the diaper bag. I put one of these in her stocking as well, so she has a couple of them. And they fit just so nice, just crammed in here. They don't take up any space. Great for restaurants, great for anywhere that she needs to kind of sit for a little bit. It just kind of keeps her a little entertained. <laughs> this little puzzle thing though, we got in like a four pack. It fits decent in the diaper bag, doesn't take up too much room, and I can just set this out and I can play with her with this. I can show her how to 
take the puzzle pieces off and it keeps it nice and contained too. Like I'm not gonna lose the puzzle pieces or anything. So again, depending on the situation, it'll depend if I bring this or not. So after I have her wipes in, then I'm gonna stick in my little pouch bag with her clothes. This I just rest at the bottom because I do not need to access that right away. That is like just almost like for emergency purposes. It fits nicely just at the bottom of her diaper bag there. So feeding things. These are some items that I bring around if we're gonna go to a restaurant or anything like that. So the first thing that I have in here is my hands down favorite bib of life. Um, this is from the Cushies brand. And I love these because of the material, how easy they are to clean. I like that it's a nice big scoop here so it actually catches the food if she drops any of them. Some of them that rest, like the Tommy Tippy ones that rest like this, I feel like they do not catch food as good as these ones. This rests on her neck nicely, like she doesn't seem to be as irritated with it. And it folds up super, super nice and compact for the diaper bag. Now this is another new addition to my diaper bag. I don't love this, so definitely if you guys have any suggestions for like a to-go placemat that works really well, that folds up really nice, comment below and let me know because I'm open to suggestions for that. This is a summer infant one. What I don't like about this is she can peel this up like nobody's business. Like it just has four little silicone things here that clip to the table. It's giant, it takes up a lot of room. I do like the idea of the scoop here to catch food. I thought that was kind of cool and kind of what sold me on it. But I will use this if we're going to the mall or something like that. With Rose, we did baby lead weaning. We never really did too many purees. So this works really well for like baby lead weaning or anything like that, where they feed themselves. So I can just put her food on here and acts as a plate, acts as a placemat, catches the food in here, which is really nice. But it is, like I said, if it's stuck better, I think I would like it. I do like how small it folds up though. It fits really nice, again, in the diaper bag. Okay, and then her food compartment. Because I would be traveling in this situation in the car, I would just wanna rest this on top so that it's super easy for me to grab and go. The last thing that I don't think I talked too much about is her Diaper Genie disposable little baggies here. Love this thing, absolutely love this thing. There's nothing like putting a poopy diaper in somebody else's trash. I don't think that's cool. I think it's a good idea to wrap up your diapers. If you're at somebody's house and you're throwing away poopy diapers, I think that that's just rude to kind of like throw a stinky diaper in somebody's trash. I feel that way in public places too. I think it's just a good idea to wrap up your diaper so that nobody else has to smell your baby's poop. <laughs> Personal opinion there, but I love this. Carry it around all the time and it clips just really nicely on the diaper bag here. So as you guys can see, the Itsy Ritzy diaper bags hold a lot. They hold tons, you guys. Um, and I've had no problems with the zipper breaking or anything like that, and I have crammed this thing full for many different situations. You guys can clearly see that if I'm traveling or if I'm going out for a full day with Rose, I bring quite a bit of stuff, and this thing holds it no problems. I'm obsessed with this diaper bag. I definitely wanna try out the other one that they offer as well. I'm not really a backpack girl, but if you are a backpack girl, they do have a really nice diaper bag backpack too. So definitely check out their options and see which one works for you. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this what's in my diaper bag video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I love watching these style of videos. It's so nice to see what kind of like baby products or mom products are out there that would work really well for a diaper bag. It's also really nice to see like what others keep in their diaper bag in case it's like something that you wouldn't think to keep in a diaper bag. I love these sort of videos. The last one I filmed was when Rose was a newborn because I remember looking at these type of videos before she was born and I had such a hard time finding newborn ones, newborn specific ones. You really don't need to carry a whole ton of stuff with a toddler. Like they can entertain themselves quite a bit. I feel like like you would probably carry more things around for a newborn but at the same time watching this video you guys are probably like okay you're carrying a lot of stuff around for a toddler so I just like to be prepared I like to have everything that I could possibly need especially for a road trip so that's what I designed this video for is like if you're going on a road trip or if you had like a big day ahead of you and you just need to carry a whole bunch of stuff for that day. I know sometimes my mom and I will do trips to a city that's a couple hours away from me. That is what I would carry in the diaper bag for those type of situations. I do keep it stocked like this on a regular, but at the same time running quick errands here and there around my city, I don't overly need much more than an actual diaper and wipes. Um, usually I can get snacks or something when we're out and about, but there has been a few times where I did not bring my diaper bag and we decided last minute to go out for supper or decided last minute to stop at the mall. I wish that we had had a lot of that with me in those type of situations. So I 
if I don't carry my diaper bag around with me, I typically kick myself for not doing it. So what I want to hear from you guys is if you've tried any sort of itsy ritzy products, definitely comment below and let me know what your favorite items are. Uh, what's your favorite items to keep in your diaper bag, especially like a toddler's diaper bag? Am I forgetting anything that you think is an essential in your diaper bag for a toddler? I'm super curious to know. I also want to know what sort of sit down videos you guys want to see from me. I have a ton planned in my mind that I can hopefully start to execute once we move, but I definitely wanna know what you guys wanna see. So comment below and let me know. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.